Hi everyone, today we're going to study triple integrals. This is the general form. The first integral from E to F, the second integral from C to D, the third integral or the innermost from A to B. Of the function F of x, y, z. Here we have dx as the innermost followed by dy and the dz is the outer integral. In some problems, the order of integration may vary. For this video, we will just focus on this general form. To evaluate this, the step one is to integrate the innermost integral and it will be in here. We can copy this inner integral down here. Let us integrate the function f with respect to x. It means y and z are taken as constants. When we simplify this, the answer will be a function g of y z. And this new function we're going to substitute in here. When we substitute, it will be like this. We can see now that the triple integral becomes double integral. Then step two, integrate the inner integral. And that is this integral here. We can copy this inner integral in here. Then let us integrate with respect to y which means the z is taken as constant. When we simplify this, the answer will be a function h with respect to z. And this new function, we're going to substitute in here. And it will be like this. We can see now that a double integral a while ago becomes a single integral. Then the step three, to integrate this integral. Then later, we will have an answer which is a constant c. This will be the final answer for the triple integral. Let us see this example one. Evaluate the triple integral. The first integral from 0 to 3. The second integral from 0 to 2 the innermost integral from 0 to 1. The function is x, y, z. And this is dx, dy, dz. Our step 1 is to evaluate the innermost integral. We can use a grouping symbol to identify that. Then let us copy this innermost integral on the side. And let us evaluate, in this case, with respect to x. It means the y and z are taken as constants. The integral now is yz times x squared over 2. And this is to be evaluated from 0 to 1. Substituting the values, we have now the first group, yz times 1 square over 2 minus the second group yz times 0 square over 2. In the second group, because of the 0, the second group will be all 0. Let us simplify the first group. And this will be yz over 2. This function now, we are going to substitute in the triple integral. And it will be like this. We can see here that the triple integral a while ago becomes a double integral. Then let us integrate the inner integral in here. We can copy this inner integral on the side, but we can rewrite it moving the constant one half outside. It will be like this. One half of the definite integral from 0 to 2 
the function yz dy. We're going to integrate with respect to y. It means the z is taken as constant. Integrating now, the value will be 1 half times z times y square over 2. When we simplify this, we will get y square z all over 4. We are going to evaluate this from 0 to 2. Substituting the values we have now, 2 square z over 4 for the first group, minus the second group, 0 square z all over 4. In the second group, because of the 0, this will be 0. Then let us simplify the first group. 2 square is 4 that we can cancel with a 4 in the denominator. So the first group here is simplified into z. We can substitute this value in the double integral here. It becomes like this. So from triple integral becomes double integral. Now it's a single integral. And we have this definite integral from 0 to 3. The function is z dz. And the integral will be z squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 3. Substituting the values, we have now 3 squared over 2 minus the second group is 0 squared over 2. The second group can be cancelled out because this is already 0. The 3 squared over 2 is simplified into 9 over 2. This is the final answer. Example 2. Evaluate this triple integral. The first integral from 0 to 1. The second integral from 0 up to 1 minus x. The third integral from 0 to y. This is dz, dy, dx. The first step is to integrate the innermost integral, and that is the definite integral from 0 to y dz. We can copy this on the side, and let us now evaluate. The integral of dz is simply z, and that is from 0 to y. Substituting the values, we have now y minus 0. To be simplified into y. We have now this new function to be substituted in here. And it will be like this. So the triple integral becomes double integral. The next step is to evaluate the inner integral. And it is in here. We can copy this inner integral on the side. And let us do the integration now. The integral of y is y squared over 2 to be evaluated from 0 up to the quantity 1 minus x. Substituting the values, we have the square of 1 minus x all over 2 minus 0 squared over 2. Because of the 0, the second group will be 0. And the first group is our new function. Let us substitute this in here. So it becomes like this. Before, we have the triple integral. It becomes double integral. Now, we have a single integral. We can simplify this further by putting the constant 2 or the denominator outside the integral sign. So we have like this now. By substitution method, we let u equals 1 minus x. By doing the process and substituting the values, we have now negative 1 half of the definite integral from 0 to 1, u square du. 
the integral now here is negative 1 half times u cubed all over 3. We can simplify by multiplying the 2 and the 3. And let us return the value of u in terms of x. So we have the negative of the cube of the quantity 1 minus x all over 6 to be evaluated from 0 to 1. When we substitute the values, we have this negative of 1 minus 1, this is cube, all over 6 minus the negative of 1 minus 0, and this is cube, all over 6. In the first group, we have 1 minus 1 in the numerator, and that becomes 0. It means the first fraction here will all come down to 0. Then let us simplify the second group. And the final answer will be 1 over 6. This is the answer of the triple integral. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Thank you.